Gurkhas often find themselves in a mix-up, with British and Indian folks confusing them for Chinese and cracking stereotypical jokes time and again. Among Westerners and Indians, most Mongoloid individuals may appear Chinese, although they can differentiate the faces of Koreans and Japanese thanks to their well-known film industry. So, let's delve into the reason behind Gurkhas resembling Chinese. Nestled between India to the south and China to the north, Nepal holds the key to this puzzle. Around 20% of Nepali people residing in the southern lowlands near India share an uncanny likeness to Indians. This resemblance is due to their identical ethnic, cultural, religious, and linguistic ties with the people of Bihar, India. Adding to the mix, nearly one-third of Nepalis, who bear Mongoloid features, often strike Westerners and Indians as Chinese. Not stopping there, over 40% of Nepalis appear Indian to Western eyes but European or Caucasian to the Chinese. This majority has spread across Nepal, using Nepali as their mother tongue. Let's dive a bit deeper into the world of Nepal's Mongoloid people. Even among this group, diversity thrives. For instance, the Sherpas, known for their Himalayan climbing prowess, share a striking resemblance to Tibetans, as they trace their roots back almost 700 years to Tibet. Then we have the Tarus, who have inhabited the lowlands for millennia. But these distinct communities aren't the same as the Gurkhas we're interested in. Now, shifting our focus to the Gurkhas enlisted by Britain and India. Primarily, ethnic groups like Rai, Limba, Garang, and Magars used to make up their ranks. The Rai and Limba communities are believed to have migrated from Kazakhstan to Nepal during prehistoric times, hence their Mongoloid appearance, which mirrors that of Kazakhs. On the other hand, Garang and Magar groups are thought to have migrated from Central Asia, passing through Kashgar in China, and regions like Kashmir, Uttaranchal, Himachal, and Uttarakhand in India. Their features reflect those of Mongoloid Central Asians, possibly Kazakhs. Members of the Tamung community have also been part of the Gurkha regiment. Like the others, they're believed to have originated from Central Asia. While some suggest a Tibetan connection, their appearance doesn't quite match that of the Sherpas. So, there you have it, the primary reason behind Gurkhas being mistaken for Chinese by both Westerners and Indians. Now, let's add an intriguing layer. The British began recruiting the aforementioned Mongoloid Nepali individuals after the two-year-long Anglo-Nepali War concluded with the Shugali Treaty. Interestingly, this war was led by figures from the Thackeray and Chetri communities, who possess a more European appearance. Curiously, the British didn't tap into these communities for their Gurkha squad. It is widely believed that loyalty played a crucial role, with these groups deemed less steadfast than their Mongoloid counterparts. Because of the fact that unemployment looming large across Nepal, even individuals from these communities started to try their luck with the British and Indian Gurkhas. Here's where it gets interesting. Some switched their surnames to sound more Mongoloid, adopting surnames like Magar and Garung. As a result, many Gurkhas ended up resembling the 40% of Highlander Nepalis who have Caucasian-like appearance. However, there are those who secure their positions without altering their surnames, having passed the necessary exams.